Hey everyone and welcome back. Today's video is about how to train however you want and still get results. Now this is one of the most popular questions that I get all the time from people. What's the fastest way to train to lose weight? What's the best method to train to lose weight? Which exercise will burn the most calories? Does it matter if I do an exercise this way or at a certain tempo? I think you get the message. So today I'm going to break this down for you super simple. So the first thing you need to figure out is how you're going to work out, right? So I have done basically every training you could possibly try or think of. You've got CrossFit, which is high intensity, high cardio, high repetitions, quick workouts. You're done in and out in about an hour. You've got bodybuilding, which is my personal favorite, where you could sit or stand there and curl up and down um, and manipulate supersets and giant sets to really maximize a given individual muscle group. Then you have Olympic weightlifting or powerlifting, which is, becomes a little bit more technical in its approach and for people who wanna get as strong as possible. Now with Olympic style training, you're gonna need a lot of rest in between your sets because of the way in which you're moving your body and the intensity, or I should say weight that you're using within this type of style of training. So think like three to five minutes in between each set. Now there are many, many more different types of exercises and a lot of those fall into group classes. But one of the most common ones that I hear about is cardio. All right, so if you're a cardio bunny, you love to run, you love to get outside, this one um, we're gonna talk about in terms of it being more of a supplement to one of the other ones I described above. Now, as I just mentioned to you, there are a ton more different exercises that you can use to get your heart rate up and your blood flowing and burning calories. These are typically the most common ones that people defer to. But with that being said, it truly doesn't matter which one you choose or you prefer as long as you're able to be strategic with what you're doing in the gym and then maximizing your time while you're there. Now, regardless of which one you prefer, all of them are going to work except cardio. Now, the reason that is, is because cardio, while it does get your heart rate up and does get you sweating, doesn't actually burn any more calories during the time after you finish your workout and it certainly doesn't build muscle. And at the end of the day, isn't the goal to build muscle? All right, so as I just mentioned, as long as you're doing one of these variations, you are going to build muscle mass. But let's break this down a little bit further. Now, in order to maximize muscle growth, there's actual scientific evidence behind the number of days per week that you could and should train. And that number is a minimum of two days a week. People will go, why is it two times a week? Why is it not one or three or four or five or even six days? Why is it only two? And to make this really simple for you, I'm gonna break it down in terms of something called protein synthesis. Now, muscle protein synthesis lasts for about 48 hours, upwards to maybe 72 hours. So what that means is you have anywhere between 48 to 72 hours to really have that muscle reach its full growth capacity. So again, after that time, it's no longer growing. So let's say that you actually go to the gym and you work chest on Monday. Basically what that means is you have up until Thursday for your muscles who you've just broken down to begin to repair and rebuild themselves. After Thursday though, it's really not growing anymore. So if you only work chest one day in a seven day rotation, you're really not maximizing your results. So ideally, if you really wanna to begin to see really great changes in lean muscle mass, the best scenario would be two times a week. Now, people have said, well, what's the difference between two and three, all right? Um, what I would say is scientific evidence has not supported there being a significant like, uptick in terms of seeing muscle growth in just that extra day. So minimally, we'll say on average, you're looking at shooting for two days a week, all right, of each muscle group, okay? So just to drive this point home one last time, if you are just working one muscle group a week, for example, if we use our chest workout on Monday, you're not building muscle on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday of your workout routine. So what you guys wanna do is learn how to create a sustainable lifestyle so that you can maximize whatever time you do end up getting to work out for 
your goals. All right, so that's the first part. The second part is how many days of the week you should actually work out. So rule of thumb is if you're working out each muscle group two times a week, you wanna be getting to the gym anywhere between three and six times. I wouldn't recommend anything less than that because you're really not gonna see the results you want. All right, so I'll repeat that. While you want to hit each muscle group two times in a given week, you wanna be going to the gym itself for anywhere between three to six days within a cycle. Now what's gonna happen here, guys, is I actually, during our phone call, we'll sit down with you, we'll talk about your workout preferences, we'll talk about how many days you have available to work out and the approximate time that you have. And then from there, we'll put together a custom plan, whether it's at home or at the gym, that's gonna really help you reach your goals. So for example, if you do prefer more of the CrossFit style workout, which hits more of your total body parts as you do it, you're looking at going about three times a week. If, however, you prefer bodybuilding like I do, I would suggest that you're looking at going anywhere between four and six times a week. So because you're not doing total body, you have to increase the frequency or times that you're going to the gym because you're technically working out less muscles during a bodybuilding workout. One of the most common questions I get was like, Anne, well, why would I go five or six times during a week if I can go three and get really good results? So one of the major reasons why you do this is because you're working less body parts and therefore you'll have more energy for the workout that you're actually accomplishing. And think about this logically, right? So imagine if I told you to run 10 miles and then hit the bench press to begin your chest workout. I would imagine you would be much more tired having to then do your bench press than if you just went directly to the gym and started lifting chest after a light warm up. So keep in mind that full body is great. Recent studies have shown you could burn up to 30% more calories during a workout if it is full body. However, if you're looking to really gain muscle mass, then you're gonna wanna start isolating each muscle group into split set days. So um, again, that two times per week for your muscles to really begin to grow. I also, since I do prefer bodybuilding, um, prefer the routine or the consistency of showing up every day so that I know that there's a certain point in my day where I've penciled it into my schedule that's for me and I get to work out, but I also get that psychological release of having had a really good workout. Now, keep in mind with cardio, you don't even have to do it. Now, I know you're looking at me you're like, what? So let me explain. With cardio, cardio is great, it gets your body moving, but it's only really a way to burn calories. And as I mentioned, you're not building muscle um, when you're getting onto a treadmill or uh, an elliptical. And as you guys know, because you've just completed the nutrition video, 90% of the results that you're gonna see are what you guys put in your mouth the other 23 hours that you're not in the gym. Showing up to the gym and training is not hard. What is hard is the nutrition that supports it. And so again, cardio is not mandatory unless your goals are very specific and we're training for an event. So again, if you like to do it and it fits into your schedule, by all means, definitely do cardio. I'm not saying that you don't have to do it at all. However, I think people who only do cardio and don't see the results that they want in terms of muscle definition sometimes get a little bit upset. And that's one of the major reasons why. So guys, I hope this was helpful in terms of understanding what types of workouts you prefer to use and how we can then begin to tailor a program specifically for you based on your goals. Now I'm gonna ask you if this made sense to you and you wanna learn more, make sure you hit that button down below and schedule your free session call so we can really hone out what the next step is for you and your plan. Now, the only reason I say that is because I can give you all the information you want, but unless we actually act upon it, it's just gonna stay that information, all right? So let's take action, it's a free call, let's get you moving in the right direction. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.